Right, mate, so we're up north for episode three. Right, the reason is we should have been going down south, but the weather down south is horrendous. That's why we're up north in the drizzle instead of the really, really bad rain. So where are we going? I believe it's 15 years old, and I've heard about it only last year when I bumped into a golf mate with Dave the Rave over at La Calla. But where are we going? Well, stick around and you'll find out. Hidden gems, and today, where have we brought you? Well, this town is famous for one thing and one thing only mint cake. And what are we doing here? Well, it's hidden gem, obviously. So, Kendall mint cake. If you're coming from the USA, you've probably never heard of it. I'll stick a picture up there that is famous, but I did say it's famous for one thing and one thing only. I'm probably lying. Originated from Kendall. Right, so Curse Green Golf Club, Kendall, Cumbria. Why have we come here? Why do you think? It's stunning. So a golf mate keeps saying, come here, come here, come here. And he's emailed in, the club's emailed in, and we're here. Right, so we're gonna play a few holes, meet as many people as we can, maybe have a little match, but either way, just play a bit of golf and uh, relax and enjoy ourselves. I think it's about 15 year old, so it's not an old course, it's quite new. But, Greens are good, that's all you need, isn't it? We've just been recommended go and play the fifth hole because they've said with my slice, I could go in the river because the river runs right outside of it. Also on the left of it, there's a bit of a pond. What a course. So it's surrounded by little rivers, River Kent and River, somewhere else I've totally forgot its name. But it's nice, I'd like to live around here, it's peaceful. But you're in Millinor work and you're not close to the Bolton Wanderers football ground. So you can't have everything. Right, we're gonna have a little free old challenge for myself. Stroke two, 330 yards, like I just said. Water, right and left. Kendall, do you know what? Probably lying to you. Yes, we all know about Kendall mint cake, but from the, if you're coming from the States, America, you won't know this, but in England, somebody very, very famous. Postman Pat. You were from Kendall. Postman Pat. Postman Pat, with his black and white cats, early in the morning. Right. Shockingly bad. The good thing about that is, it's not a long goal, and it won't be far in, and it's not going in the water. So, as long as you can hit it, and hit it again, you can get your par. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, with his black and white cats. Right, so Kendall Mint Cake. They take it on, you know, up mountains. Everest, Kilimanjaro. Reminds me of a song that by the Libertines. Kilimanjaro. <laughs> right, what a small world this is. So the club manager here, Mike, used to be a member at Chalk Are you ready? He's a good mate with OMP and Mr. Dudson, my dad. And he knows Dave the Pro and everyone round there. So small world used to be a member 16 years ago so i worked there then it's quite obvious i'm not getting through the ball i need to commit so this one is getting a jolly good whack like i said i am committing to this because i'm swinging like an octopus who's had a few stallers it's just short it was nearly okay but i'm an eight handicapper just missing the one in front of it Right, these Spanish Bolton hands need to kick in. And they need to kick in now. Oh, 
It's okay, I've got a chance, I've got a chance. It's like buying a ticket. You buy your ticket for the lottery, you've got a chance. Right, we've got a straight putt here. They don't break as much as they used to. So this is what you call not an Elton John. It's not straight. Oh, I've been robbed. Absolutely fleeced. Pickpocketed by a load of Bulgarian pickpocketers in Barcelona. I've been done like a kipper. So I've bogeyed that all. Let's be honest, the strikes off the tee and the iron shots weren't great. They're more like Harper Scargill in the 70s on the picket lines with the strikes. Just a bad strike. But, who cares? Oh, hello. Have you hit a good shot, sir? We'll have to meet them in a minute. What a friendly place this is. Oh, we've got... Oops, one minute. One minute. Watch this. Watch this. <laughs> oh, it's fed the fish. Are you on your own, pal? I am on my own. Well, we'd get a better haircut. Can I, can I join you? You can join me, absolutely. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? I'll let you play I'm this all as a warm-up. Nick. Nick. Liam. Pleased to meet you. You from Bolton? Bury. Are you? Yeah. Can we join you? You can join me. Perhaps we'll do it this off. way, haven't we? This lad's just hit a career best CV. <laughs> just film that, you can just see it right next to the flag. That's, oh, hello. Oh, I was going right. to... Oh, you have as well. Hey, of course I, his, I have. His view name is Richard Me, Me, I, Me, Me, I. <laughs> yeah, that's Correct. the one. <laughs> this is what I like about coming new places. You meet people just like me. Here we have... <laughs> <laughs> Angus Dobson. <laughs> Who have we got here, sir? Angus. Richard. Doesn't he look Swedish? Do he look Swedish? Fattish. Fattish? <laughs> Obviously he's had an hard life. Oh, I said he looks looking Swedish, doesn't it? It's a Manchester charm, isn't it? Manchester charm. Right, what have we got here? About three ten, is it? What are we on? Oh, three eleven. Oh, oh, it's dog legs. Sorry, I'm asking you and it's right in front of my yeah, eyes. Yeah. Three eleven. So something to the just, left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You probably, ideally, just get it to the right because then you're not hitting your second shot towards the, uh, towards the river. Right. And what river is that? Beeler. Beeler. I think. Also, how are you? I'm all right, thank you. We're actually more awful. Fucking everything. I'm slicing everything. Oh well, we should swap. Well, we should. Well, we need, need meet in the middle of. I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want your hook. <laughs> I'll let you. The wind's going to help me here, surely. And stop calling me surely. Yeah. Come on, Liam. Shot. Really? Yeah, it's great, man. That's what you want. Right, shot. You know what, my driver then? 50 quid. Pardon? My driver, 50 quid. Uh, I've got 50p for your waterproof top. Oh, no, I've <laughs> that. This is a Dunlop, mate, Dunlop. Sports Direct. Yeah, not just any old You can't beat them. Not you just any old tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> what are you dealing? Don't go in there. What? No, I'll be alright. I've already about that. Got a load of balls. Every time you don't loop, they get them out of your bag. He's <laughs> oh. still on. He's still on. It drops, it drops down. It's like a... Yeah. Nice guys, aren't they? Right. Oh, this looks lovely. Nice, isn't it? Thank you. You have to go to the aisle, or you said, go for stopping, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. So you're 18 going off, going to 8, and I'm 8 going off to 18. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't need to do a pitch, Mark, do I? This is a proper pop, this. Come on. Come on. Oh. Shot. That's a full bish bash swallow. <laughs> Wasn't coming again, was it? No, they're not breaking as much. No, at all. Well, it I know, the trouble is, is all the different places have a different setup, don't they? So you, you don't know where to pick them out or what? Oh, I've done it again! <laughs> oh, 
Huh? No drama. No, no, I need to put it in there. Right, thank you very much for having a few holes for you. Absolutely it's quite easy, I owe you a fiver. Yeah, okay. I'll... He's a bandit. This lad, you might see him again if I come back up. I'll be off 12 and he'll be off 12. Yeah, I'll have that. Well, yeah, we'll have that one. But I think... Double the quits. Absolutely. <laughs> Checking the height of course. What's that? Checking the height of course from the greens. Oh, sorry, are you the green keeper, by the way? Correct. Right, yeah. Liam, nice one. Well, what a great good. greens, these are. So, are you all right? Yeah. Good, good. Right, we've got oh, grabbed all the warren here, the green keeper, because I've seen him with this. I just want to know what, what is it? Basically, it's a prism for measuring the a height. Prism? Of, a prism. Prism? Yes, when we measure the um, the height of cut, the effective height of cut on the green. So I'm from Bolton, so it's like a ruler. Very similar. Right. Yeah, very similar. So it's a ruler with a posh uh, name. It is, but it basically, because obviously we can't put a ruler that way and read that way, because okay. we can't get low enough. Right, this obviously on. my IQ's coming out now. And we can look straight down and it's measuring as if we were like led on the green looking right. that way. And we're looking straight down. Knowledge is the bomb. <laughs> you're the bomb. <laughs> right, golf mate, so on this par five, just give you a bit of knowledge there. He knows his onions, greens are fantastic. It's only 460 or 480, but I am going to play it as a free shotter. What a backdrop. Right tight as I can because there's water everywhere it's all it needs all sit all sit it's all right I stopped for a minute then chatting the problem I get with going on these days I like a conversation and I am talking to everyone pleasant people I like them big shock revelation but there's no Bolton Wanderers fans yet and I've met quite a few people. Some of them have never heard of them. So I don't even think they've got out of the village around here sometimes if they've not heard of Bolton Wanderers. I'm not saying it was a great swing. In fact, I'm saying it's not. Six iron in the privets, but not literally in the privets because I don't want to win the water. Right, look at that. To be honest, because it went, I hit that nice and easy about four out of ten, it went straight as an eye. I should have hit him closer to the water, but I can't. I'm a bit chicken. 130 yard, I'm going with a German, but there, there seems to be a bit of wind there, but I think it could be okay. Should be. The way I'm swinging anyway. Come on, confident. Well, it's on, isn't it? End of day. If you're dancing, you want to dance on the dance floor. You don't want to dance on the carpet. You need a floor, so you've got the moves. And it's on. It's pin eye, like Mr. Fingy's ex from Thailand. Was it a bad swing? I don't care. Was it a good swing? I don't care. Putting for birdie. Two put par. So on pin eye, that's all that matters. Wind in, 139 And I swung really slow then. That could be the key. I could be jerking. That's why I'm going over the top. Otherwise, I'm talking utter verbal diarrhea. I watched you. Right. Ah, map. Oh, cover that then. Oh, he dropped something, didn't he? Right. Played it old man Pat style. I'll take that. Oh, I nearly picked it up. Right. I've seen. I'm going to have some dinner now. But on the 18th fall, that's got feed the fish all over it. So we're going to have to play the 18th, but, it, but I need a bit of a sandwich. My missus made me a pat lunch. Yogurts. Sweaty banana. Not going to tell you what that looks like, but uh, comment below. <laughs> I've already had a nibble at the house. So we're on cheese, ham and mayonnaise, brown bread, healthy. 130, now we're coming to the end of the day. Let's be straight, I've not hit many good shots, so I think it's about time I do. I'm gonna hit a German because there's nothing for sure, only fish food has that lovely drone footage shown. Yeah. So I don't know it, fish food in front of me or next to the green. What a great finishing hole. Now, I'm not a lover of par threes finishing holes, unless I look like that. Do you know what I mean? If it's just a bland, par three finishing all, I'm not keen, but that's fine. A lot of drama on that all. 
Right Joe, you've seen a lot of rubbish today, haven't you? Are you calling it now? Green, fish food all right? I think you can birdie it. Oh, be enough. Divot said a bit of straight shot. Now that is the 18th hole of today. And that's my best shot today. And luckily, it's my last iron shot. No, one putt, happy days, two putt, finish. If you always par the last hole, you feel better. But I might birdie it. Right, like I said, it's a great finishing hole. I don't like par three finishing holes, but it's got everything on it. Right, I could do with something decent. I'll be honest, I've not played well today, really have, I've really struggled and uh, just played played bad, but I've enjoyed it, so that's all that matters. But the people here, they're friendly. Right, two inches right. Come on. There's a saying in golf, chicken and rice. And this is what we need now, chicken and rice. Oh, well, do you know what? It's one of them days of golf, isn't it? You can go play golf, and you can play all right, and you can play terrible, like an octopus who's got inside your body and started swinging for you. And today, I look like an octopus, and that's what kind of golf I've played. Give myself that. Right, I didn't birdie it, but it's been one of them days in golf. Sometimes you play well, sometimes you don't. Does it matter? No. Right, so up here in Cumbria, are you ready for this? I get this name wrong. It's Karis Green, Cyrus Green, or something like that. But what I will say, Good course. If you're playing well, I think you can get a good, you can have a right day out here and you know, get a few birdies, a few pars and have a good time. I think this is accommodation, I've not a clue, but you ready? 35 pounds for a game of golf here. Is it worth it? Yes, the greens and Mackenzie's. So the two, two tier, if you're coming from the USA and look at it, lush as anything. So I believe they've got a new head greenkeeper and he's made the place even better. Email us below here, but only your golf clubs. So have a word with your golf clubs, hey, Let's get these idiots here. And we might come if your golf club gets in touch. So, I've been Liam Harrison, and that was episode three of the Hidden Gems. <laughs>